think my frog's upside down. Maybe not. Whoa. You think you'd ever come out here in the winter? Oh yeah, they, they bite here. Right? I was gonna say. Right before you came over here, I just had one come up and smack it. I was like, eh, I'll turn my camera off because nothing's happening, and then smack. Yeah, I better throw something on there that's more surefire to catch a fish. So I'm probably not going to with this. Try a couple more casts. Good thing is, is like, when in doubt, there's always Senkos. So basically we've thrown top water, we've thrown a clickbait, which is essentially some sort of unique chatterbait from Guggen. So now I'm throwing this small grasshopper crankbait. And if this doesn't work, then I'm really not sure what to use next. Ultimately, I could use a Senko, could use some other different crankbaits. I've got a big arsenal with me today, fortunately, but oddly enough, it seems like for an August day, it seems like the bite wasn't as good as when we were here in April, which doesn't make any sense to me. Just really seems like these fish are playing hard to get today. Since I've been here, I saw my cousin catch one. I've seen him jumping, which we didn't see last time. However, not sure that that's completely translating into bites. So there's that. I got plenty of fallbacks, plenty of plan Bs, you know, plan Cs, hopefully. And if this spot doesn't work out too good, it looks like we're gonna be surfing around, pond hopping, going to different areas. So that'll be nice. We'll uh, be getting different experiences at new places, maybe some different fish. I've heard of some other ponds around here that have sizable bass in them, like very sizable from what I've heard. All these lures are so lightweight, I can only cast like halfway across the pond. The wind died down for now. Oh, there we go. Camera rolling and everything. Yeah, that's the first fish I've ever... <laughs> Look at this, I hooked him under his face. With one hook. Little guy. Goodbye. All right, we finally got the skunk off. Let's see how many more fish we can get, if any, before we switch ponds. No? <laughs> Could have been a fish. Dude, that thing hit it so hard at first. I was like, I think that's a fish, but I thought it was a nice fish because it pulled my lure to the ground. All right, let's try this side. Hey, I guess we're tied one to one, huh? No, I got two before you got here. I was going to say, you probably got some before. It seemed like there were so many more fish in this pond last time I was here. I think it also is because it's midday. But right now in the water, comes when top water is deep. Yeah. My lure has like this weird action. It swims sideways. So it's like I have to, you know, pause when it hits the surface. There's, that's a nicer fish. It's not huge, but oh, dude, he barely had it. Did you see the colors on that thing? Yeah, it looks like a rain, it had rainbow colors. That was a pretty fish, dude, that for a bass. That sucks. Figured right in that line of, uh, line of strike would be pretty good. I was like, oh, I don't want to lose that fish. Cause he, he probably was like only three quarters of a pound. Oh, I know, that was like, Fish I've seen either, though. Yeah, but that, yeah, I, I've never really seen a bass like that out of anywhere. That had like the most defined spots and stuff. Probably couldn't even see on the camera. Well, I also have polarized glasses on it right now. Oh, me too. Oh, right in that shady spot should be the juice. That other spot's nice because it's shaded and it has that lid, but this area is nice because it's deep. Except right when they start jumping, it gets windy. Well, I, wasn't it shaded when, or maybe it wasn't when I caught that one? Yeah, right, because it was like, what, five at night?
I just got that wave of fish smell. If you can get out to that point, that might be good. And that left arm also looks like it could be. I just saw a dragonfly fly that way and I thought it was my line. And so I thought I was fighting a fish for a second. I wonder if there's a fish in here. I was gonna use similar to what we used last time with that ribbon tail thing. I don't know if you still had any of those. Yeah. Cause all my Sankos and stuff are pretty much like five, six inch and I need like a three, four. But I also do have like Kraken Craws and Bandito Bugs and stuff like that that are like four. I don't think there's any fish in here, honestly. For bass or trout? Trout and river. Yeah. Honestly, I like rooster tails better for bass than I do trout, and I like Panther Martins better for everything, really. Oh, do you see that trout? Kind of look at it. Do you know what's in here besides rainbows? Um, I don't. Oh, no. <laughs> I just know it's rainbows, at least. Watch, I'm going to start killing them now. Watch. All right, so now we're actually at the river. We were fishing a couple of ponds. Those didn't really pan out too well, but this looks super nice. There's trout everywhere, and I'm coming up across a pretty nice pool. I believe this is the Rao River. It's either that or the Willamette. There's freaking tadpoles everywhere right here. This, this should work immediately almost. Kind of strange that I haven't seen any big fish following it, so that's definitely weird, but... Just getting started. I just remembered I have power bait in my bag. That might have been a fish. Yeah, there's definitely no weeds because I remember people casting out into the middle and stuff. It's probably best in like late spring, early summer. All right, see this? It's a gummy bear. And I'm gonna be trying to catch a trout on the gummy bear. So if this doesn't work, it's just rigged. Hey, the nice thing about this is my bait won't fall off. Oh, oh, dude. A bluegill just went for it and then turned around. Oh, I was getting a bite. No. Bro, they took half my soggy worm. There's probably no trout in here. People probably caught them all, and then, like, in the summer, I'm sure they go to deeper water and stuff. It should not take this long. All right, I'm putting on a real piece. This water is warm as I just saw a big one start going for yours. I'm catching these little freakers. If you drop it down again, it's like they forget. I do know they stock it like closer to winter so the fish can like get used to it. So if they survive, ready for the next winter. Well, I bet like January would be really good. You know how it was pulling sideways? Yeah, yeah that's usually bluegill. No, I had a fish. I actually felt like a decent fish. Waiting for him to pull it under more. It. See, that's why I've, it's probably a freaking bluegill, but it bit differently. Got him. Bass? No, bluegill. Oh, it looks like an average sizer. All right, goodbye. A little bit of multi-species action for the day there. Got one bass and one bluegill after fishing for how many hours? A couple. I'm fishing those sometimes though. It'd be like that sometimes. Well, there's right. a big fish that jumped down there. I mean, it may not have been big, but it was probably a bass. I'm already getting another one. Was. It shouldn't take long. I honestly, you probably catch a bass if you got a nice black thing. I bet not very many people have tried this. With the worms or with catching the bluegill? Compared to using like Senkos and stuff. Oh yeah. These red dragonflies are weird. Ah, oh, I had too much slack. Fish just jumped on the other side of that lid. Yeah, that's why I was trying to cast over it. Well, no, there's two. It's so shallow that it's two lines. I could see him earlier. I can't now. Got him. Yeah. Oh, bluegill number two. Let's see if we can get some bass off of this setup. We're just using what we used in the last place we were at, which uh, I'll go and uh, put some titles up of the places we were at if I turn this into a video. But um, fishing's been rough today. So we've hit like five different spots. We've tried you know, all kinds of stuff and just haven't really had the day we expected, which happens. Do you have a bass crush it on top water? 
I'm about to put a Senko on. That's probably the only way. That should be a good spot. That's about exactly where I caught that bass last time is where my bobber is. It's time. The baby bull shad, $20 swim bait. I almost brought with me the trout swim bait that I bought in Arizona. This action is so juicy. Was that on the frog? Yeah. Dude, you probably can't see it from here, but this action is so nice. Hey, we got the guppy of the day right here. Oh, there's another dink. Oh, I had him. Dude, there's a bigger fish right here though. Those two inch bass are attacking it like crazy. Whoa! Wait, what the? That's a freaking chub! Look! Dude, I didn't know these were in here. Look, it's a freaking chub. How are these in here? These are river fish. What is it? It's a freaking, look, it's a northern pike minnow. I don't even know if they want you to throw these back. They probably kill all the bass. Look at that guy. I don't know how he got in here, but that's freaking I bet, weird. I bet he got in here when the, because the water flows in here from the river. I bet when he was a baby, he got in here. Should I just leave it on the bank? Because I'm pretty. <laughs> Throw it back. There's no way he can eat a bass. He can eat the freaking babies. Man, that's, I've never caught one on a crawdad lure. That's freaking nuts. I thought it was like a, a one pound bass, but I was like, man, that's pretty skinny. Well, that's a first. This is one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. These hooks are so small. I'm just still surprised because that was probably probably the only one of those in here I would imagine and as you can see this pond is a ways away from the river that's the only way one of those could have gotten in here that's crazy probably gonna use this for a little more see if I can get another couple of fish or you know one or two if that doesn't work probably gonna switch to some Senkos we got the sun dropping behind us fast so whatever we do we're gonna have to do it fairly quickly it's like there's fish boiling on this other side It's another small bass. And look at these guys. Dink Fest USA. Ouch. Oh, he's still on there. It's a little bit bigger. And these are still tiny compared to the other ones we caught a few months ago, I mean. It's pretty fish though. Big head, smaller body. Oh, there's another one. No bigger than like three inches, but just trying to quickly and uh, safely release these guys. Better get a hook stuck in my finger though. That's like dink number five, I guess. I don't know. Is there a line coming out from this too? Yeah, just one though. I don't know, this is so funny. I've never caught bass this small. Well, you over there, I caught like four that were literally this big. It makes those other dinks, the ones that were dinks, oh, that was bigger. The ones that we caught that were dinks last time, makes those look big. Oh, hit it right at the surface. I, mean, I know these bass are like two inches, but it's still fun. Are you gonna try worms at all? Oh, that would have been my biggest fish of the day. That was like a pound. Just about to give up on this lure and I had a feeling that if I made a cast that way that it would work out. Of course, I didn't have my camera on, so nobody got to see it jump but me. I think we fished this part of the pond too much. Start using a Senko soon because gotta catch some fish before I leave here. There's probably so many big ones over on the left side because nobody's gone over there. Oh, dude, that thing flies because it's so aerodynamic. Can you try? A blade bait. Oh. A weed bait. Problem with most of these baits is that they dive too deep. Dude, they're boiling everywhere. So now I'm doing something different. We finally put a Senko on. I put a small weight above it. So what it is is a, I believe a yum dinger, like a green and black worm. Texas rigged on a regular bass hook and we already had a hit, but uh, it just has a small triangular sinker at the top. I probably should have done weightless. 
Oh, one just blew up right on shore. Now might be the time for top water along this shore. No, the one that blew up on the bank was a nice sized fish. Thank you.